In major news across the Tasman, police in Sydney have this morning carried out a major counter-terrorism operation in the city's northwest suburbs. Just last week, Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott raised his country's terror threat from medium to high. One News Australia correspondent Steve Marshall joins us now live from Sydney. Steve, what's the latest? Yes, hello. Well, the latest is that this is the largest operation of its kind in Australian history. This morning, pre-dawn raids were carried out at 25 properties across Western Sydney. More than 800 officers were involved in those uh, strikes. Witnesses say they heard helicopters above with, with uh, high beam lights and officers bursting through doors with armed officers bursting through doors with loudspeakers and yelling. Fifteen people were detained in Sydney with one arrest and one man has been charged with serious terrorism offences. Another 70 officers carried out similar raids up in Brisbane. No one has been arrested and charged from those raids yet. But a short time ago, the New South Wales Police held a press conference here in Sydney and they said they have disrupted potential plans of this group to carry out uh, acts of violence, random acts of violence against members of the public in Australia. So a very serious uh, revelation there and we'll have more for you at six o'clock tonight. Absolutely. Thank you, Steve. Steve Marshall, live with us from Sydney.